Hey guys, this is Jacob with Myers Window Cleaning, and uh, today I wanted to talk to you about um, when is it okay to go after a storefront. I can't even believe I'm saying that as far as window cleaning. Um, you know, if you offer pressure washing services too, uh, obviously offer those as well. Um, but um, when is it okay to go after a storefront? Um, generally, the reason I'm saying this is because storefront owners, if they're in an agreement with someone else, you kind of don't want to screw that agreement for that other person because everyone needs to make a living and there's more than enough to clean for everybody okay but um that would also imply that um if you're still going after them that you have a better service or product but then that means uh some people will go and try to charge less even though they're better which doesn't make sense to me and if you are better you need to charge more do you think ferrari lowers their prices uh to match the quality of ford no, they raise their prices because they know they're in a completely different ball game. You know, that's like comparing minor league baseball to major league. There's, I mean, there's not even really a comparison. There's just a difference. It's, uh, you know, one's, you know, the, you know, the minor league and one's major league professional. Um, you know, I don't want to say minor leagues, you know, amateur or anything like that, but you know, Hey, and there might even be a difference between minor league and, you know, the sports team that your kids play at after school or something like that. So, you know, you can't even really compare that to minor league or professional. So, um, with that being said, um, so th there's a strict line of ethics that goes into, um, selling and closing. Um, is there really a problem to begin with? Are the windows really that dirty? Are they clean? If they're clean and they're uh, actually being serviced by someone, I want you to go ahead and find someone else to pitch to because you're generally going to be upsetting them and wasting their time. People, again, like stuff that works and uh, they're going to be very hard pressed to uh, listen to you, uh, especially since what you have better be a, you know, a, a comparative uh, service or better. Um, and generally, if you're starting out, it's probably not going to be. Um, your skill has to also match that. But there comes a time. I'm not really going to go too much further than this because I don't even know if I got this yet. But you can see those are super dirty. And the whole point that I showed you with that is, so now if someone says, hey, uh, we have someone that does it already. Oh, really? Where are they? Are they on Mars? <laughs> but that's not what you would say to them. <laughs> that's what you're thinking. Um, uh, you know, they, they haven't stopped by in a million years or since the beginning of time. Uh, that is uh, straight up negligence. That is lack of caring. That is lack of service. And that is lack of good product. So the actually the ethical thing to do would be to end that agreement with um, that said person. Because it would actually be unethical to... Uh, let that continue, especially if that is the problem that you aim to solve. You have just found an ideal person to solve problems for. Why would you walk away from that? So you have a, a perfect uh, solution, and yet the problem's not being solved, yet they say it's being solved. Hmm. So maybe it just comes down to uh, they don't really know what window cleaning is. Or maybe that you're trying to pitch them pressure washing. Maybe you're trying to pitch them something else. But it comes with a little bit of education. Um, and that goes a long ways. You're not there for the short term. Like this guy that said that was showing up. And is clearly not there. Uh, you're there for the long term. You know, you're there for them, hopefully, forever. Um, and, you know, if you have that business, that's going to make you a lot of money in the long run. Especially if you have a bunch of them. So, um, again, if someone is doing good and good is being done and is being rendered as a product or service, um, move on to someone that you can help. Um, don't try to underbid because that also distorts and uh, disvalues the market that you're in. It doesn't do good for anybody. In fact, if you have competitors that are making money and you're making money, it's probably because both of you guys are keeping your price is high, um, and that's a good thing, because if they're a lot lower, that means there's a lot of uh, distortion in the market going on. Um, sorry about my hair and, you know, going in the wind like this, um, but if you have someone that is not doing a good job, or is just not there, or maybe they're just too embarrassed to admit that 
um, they don't have a cleaner. Sometimes I've, I've used that as um, kind of a conversational piece. Is this, um, you know, a case where you say you have a cleaner, but you really don't, you don't have to be embarrassed, but I want to know because I want to help you. And you don't have to be embarrassed around me. I, I want to help you with your problems. You know, and you know, if you show that you care, and again, uh, stuff like that is straight up negligence. Um, you, you need to go ahead and uh, pitch and try to uh, take that store, take that um, work, because that person obviously isn't doing it, and they're not. They're they're they don't obviously want to make the money that bad. Because if they did, they would be there and they'd be cleaning that store. Now, but you might say, well, what what would what happens if that person had a blah 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 blah? They you know, we're in a car crash or, you know, they, um, you know, something ha bad happened to them or something like that. This is very, very rare that I find that has happened. That has happened to me before uh, trying to take stores uh, to find out another window cleaner in an area that I have marketed in uh, went under after only a couple years of me being there. Uh, went under. I only had, I think, one store in the first six months and then I think like another two um, but overnight um, family issues back problems and I've heard this from storefront owner so it must have been true I felt bad for the guy because um, you know he was actually doing pretty decent um, not much I can do then they started getting dirtier and dirtier and dirtier and dirtier and dirtier and the guy just eventually left and he actually uh, mentioned me by name because he knows I, I, I was stopping by and um, it's a very, very rare thing that your previous, the previous cleaner reaches out to you or has a, a predicament that they're in. Now, if they are in a predicament, you might want to um, have a conversation with them. Hey, maybe they could sub for you down the road uh, that, and they could keep their um, contract with them, but you hire them out on it and then uh, you can have them on other stuff. So there's a lot of ways to deal with that, but at the same time though, um, when again, when someone says they have a cleaner and they don't go after them because nobody else is doing it clearly because if they if they were being done you would know and uh, if they're not being done by you and they're clean, I would say leave it be um, because there's no point in underbidding it. Um, you want to get in on places that value you and uh, your time. Uh, you're not valuing yourself if you're lowering your prices to meet someone else's standards. You, if you're better than them, like the Ferrari and Ford comparison, well, uh, Ferraris are way more expensive. They're way higher quality, so be the Ferrari. Don't be the Ford. I mean, Fords, I, I, I love Fords and, and Chevys. In fact, uh, one of my tr uh, both of my trucks are Ford and Chevy, so but um, be the Ferrari. Um, because that's what people are looking for. It doesn't mean you're perfect, but it means you're awesome. You're the man. You can do stuff. Um, things are unbelievable. They've never seen quality until they actually met you. You exemplify in our definition of quality. So you want to get in on that. Um, look for the people that have the most problems. Don't look for people that are already having the problem solved. Now there could be another instance where the cleaner just ups and goes and the windows are still clean. Well yeah, they take time to get dirty, but they wouldn't have known. You could still ask in that case. If you're gonna go and ask, you know, uh, okay, you wanna be Mr. The big Guy and go in on a store that is clean already, um, you could drop off your information and I would just leave it at that. Um, but most of the time though, uh, deals aren't made in one day and they're made over time. In fact, uh, some storefronts I've had uh, call me about three, four years later. <laughs> their, their previous cleaner uh, crapped out on them. Tough shit. Now you, gotta, now you gotta pay me at the current pricing because they asked, you know, is this pricing from 2017 still good? No, it's 2022. <laughs> 20, it was 2020, 2021 when these people were calling. I'm like, nope, sorry. Pricing went up. Demand went up. Uh, you want in? They still paid me. And, uh, you know, so don't be afraid to ask for what you really want, but also get in at places that are going to value you and your time.
Um, I'm Jacob with Myers Window Claim. Again, if you have any questions or you want to uh, call or text, I prefer text because uh, my phone line won't get uh, uh, hung up on me. Um, my number is 413-884-4743. And uh, I hope this was helpful. Um, I'm going to be doing some more videos, but maybe more so on window cleaning technique and um, you know the skill sets and foundational uh, elements and concepts that you need to understand. Um, I find that you know a lot of people uh, are not into just big long explanations. I find some people just want the techni technical stuff. That's fine, but I think you need a mix of the technical stuff and you also need the sound knowledge and experience and common sense behind uh, selling and closing. Again, Jacob with Myers Window Cleaning, 413-884-4743. I hope you guys stay warm and God bless you. Have a great day.